Yeah. Somebody stole your car, huh? Held me at gunpoint. Fuck. Really? I don't really feel like talking about it right now. I got a therapy session tomorrow. I'm just gonna unload it on him. Well, when you're done with that, I'm gonna show you how to use this. I got some empty beer bottles from around the neighborhood. We can use it as target practice, you know? You know what the crazy thing is? What? I don't even think about my car. The gun. Or oh, Andrew. Just thinking, just... What the fuck is gonna happen next? Man, that's... That's wasted thinking, dude. It's our job to prepare for the future, not predict it. You know what I'm saying? You know you had the gall to make fun of my shoes, too? <coughs> the Ferragamos? My Ferragamos. Man has the audacity to steal your car and then make fun of your clothes? Tasteless. Said they were fake. Asshole. I mean, a con. Spotting a con. You know. What? Man, don't be sparing him compliments. Yo, these, these are real. These are real Ferragamos. I mean, they're peeling. I mean, I just walked like 10 miles in them. Of course, they're not gonna look fresh out the box new. I mean, they do look middle of the mall. Bro, your whole closet is the middle of the mall. Your closet is the middle of the mall. You're not wrong, but I'm not the one parading around like it's not. Why am I taking fashion advice from you? Bro, you from Alaska. All y'all do is wear jackets. Great. You ever been to Alaska? Oh, of course you're gonna wear a jacket. Yeah, but like, besides that, like, you know, what do y'all know about shorts? Have you even seen shorts? All right, I think I can call it. May 5th, 2019, 6.45 p.m. Two unidentified males were seen exchanging a weapon. A handgun. From a distance, it looked to be a pistol. Black. Which is confirmation of them being armed. As for them being dangerous, that has yet to be determined in law. Mrs. Springfield! Hey, this is Chloe. I'm good, thanks. I was actually calling to see if you were still experiencing that swelling in your knee. Sorry to hear that. Well, I do have some good news. I happen to have a pack of anti-inflammatories on me and I'm actually pulling into your neighborhood as we speak. No, I have you on Bluetooth. Bluetooth, you know the thing that turns your car into a phone? No, not literally. You connect it wirelessly and you can talk on your phone while you drive. Why would I make that up? Yes, I know about George's hands-free law. My driving record won't let me forget about it. I don't have a tome, Mrs. Springfield. I Look, I'm right down the street from your house and I'll see you when I get there. 